guys, I wanted to say a quick good morning in my mess and all, as usual. Uh, we keep it real. <laughs> we keep it very real here on this channel. And uh, I'm keeping the camera up here because, girl, below it just gets worse. So, just a quick good morning. I have <clears throat> no idea what I need to do today. I do know I need to order groceries. I need to go to my other grocery store. I always do a two-part process in case you're new to my channel. Also, I've been thinking about, I, if you've been watching my vlogs, you can kind of tell that I've been trying to change up some of the ways that I film and, and do like different things. And I really want to, or in my mind, I'm still trying to figure out a way to introduce my life I guess on the vlogs and I still haven't quite <clears throat> decided like how I'm gonna do that because I know I'm getting a lot of new subscribers and I just never I've never been one basically to constantly reintroduce myself on YouTube if you watch some other youtubers they you know they always have like their little intro about who they are what their name is you know what they do on their channel and that's not something that I really do that often at all and not that I have to but I do at least want to do that on my vlogs so that you kind of know what you're watching who you're watching um, but I haven't figured out how I want to do that from a filming editing perspective but let's just do a quick just casual one if you're new here my name is Marie I have one child she's 19 years old she is about to go back to college and she's going into her sophomore year I do life in my mind pretty simple I'm not really a traveler I like to be home I like to decorate and I actually like being by myself I find a lot of joy in it I can't seem to get enough of it and it just makes me really content and really happy. So anyways, if that is of any interest and in you've just stopped by and seen this vlog, then I hope you click subscribe and stick around and come through this, this journey with me. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I'm gonna change because, uh, okay folks. All right, I have Alexa playing Lady Gaga in the background, and I love Lucy, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder because YouTube and all that stuff, but I've decided I'm actually going to go jogging. I don't normally go in the morning, but it's getting hotter in Texas, and it doesn't get any cooler during the rest of the day, even in the evening, than it is in the morning. So it's about 85 degrees, and I know this is the time I have to go. Go ahead and show you guys. The outfit, <clears throat> I love. This is one of my favorite sports bras, the neon yellow. This is actually a large, so it hangs a little low, but I like it because it's going to be really, like, breezy in here. And then these are my favorite shorts, too, by the way. They're navy, and I'm going to put on my... I'll show you the shoes. I'm going to go with these today because of the pop of yellow and I'm gonna go ahead and get to jogging. I also realized, I'll give you guys actually an update on differences I've seen in my body real quick. So I've been jogging a lot and uh, I have noticed that a lot of my cellulite has actually gone away. I used to have cellulite all the way down to about right here, I still do. Um, not trying to get all like intimate or anything here, but I still, and you know what, the camera's not really showing you exactly all of the the cellulite. Just see, that's a little bit better. You can just see, when you turn in different lighting, you can kind of see it. But it was pretty bad, and it went all the way down here. But it has kind of smoothed out a lot. Um, and I haven't done anything. I haven't put any creams. None of that. But I have noticed that my stomach area, nothing has really happened. I have seen a little bit of muscle build up here and I think it's just because of the way that I jog with my arms, but I'm not seeing any difference with like this part of my arm right here. So uh, I need to start doing 
the HIT training, H-I-I-T or however it's called. And I need to start doing that again. I actually started when my daughter went back to college and then like I ended up stopping, but I need to do that so that I can tone this and tone my arms and even tone my legs a little bit more. I still have, I have like a, I guess you, they call it like saddlebag. Um, so honestly the camera isn't, isn't really picking up on it. I don't think it is, but, um, but yeah. So anyways, that's the update on the differences I've been seeing. Really pretty much here in my arm, I can see a little bit of definition. And also my calves, I can see a definition. And the thing I saw the absolute most was that this bottom part of my cellulite is kind of a little bit non-existent. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's still like little ridges, but Anyways, just wanted to throw that out to you guys. Also, walking is the best. A good brisk walk is said to be better than jogging. So it burns more fat and, but I just love running. It's just like this weird thing, but I do walk as well um, while I'm out jogging. So I walk like the end part of it and I do, I do try to do a brisk walk. So anyways, um, I'm gonna drink some more water, get my shoes on, go while the temperature's low, and I'll see you guys after. But I wanted to tell you guys that I went to Dollar Tree and I went to the grocery store. Forgot I was completely vlogging today because it flew away with me. But I am going to do a grocery haul. So now that I have everything packed away, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I normally don't buy that much from the store because it's actually a little bit more expensive, but these are all the things I love to buy that I really can't get at Walmart. Okay, I'm out of breath, so let's go. Here is this Red Baron. We recently just started on this pizza and I get the four cheese. My daughter really loves it. Um, and I only get one or so at a time, you know, it's just me and her. And uh, we just, I don't buy things in bulk because I do go to the store often. So I just got one of those. This is something I actually get at Walmart, but I was there and I, I grabbed for them, but I should have just waited to get them tomorrow because they'd probably be cheaper. But I got the Thomas bagels. I got blueberry and then plain. My daughter's been eating plain more often. Usually we only get blueberry. So I got her plain and this is good too because she can build like a sandwich out of you know, eggs and sausage or bacon and cheese and that kind of thing. But I do prefer the blueberry bagels and I just put cream cheese, pretty simple, and that's it. This is the <laughs> bakery section, which is one of the biggest reasons why I go to Market Street. They have the best bakery stuff. I got something new, haven't gotten this before. It is the five chocolate explosion cookies. So there's big five chocolate cookies in there. 
They look really delicious. And then I went with four lemon blueberry muffins in here. They're just, they look so yummy. I love how they're packaged as well. And then the country style cinnamon rolls, they didn't have the icing on all four. This is what they had, but I did go late in the afternoon on a Sunday, so it was probably all the ones with all the icing was gone. But the cinnamon roll itself is so delicious too, so I didn't mind, but I'm addicted to these. It's so good. This is new, never got this one before either. These are the five strawberry cheese strudel sh sticks. I like sugar. I know how bad that is, but I cannot help it. Uh, I mean, I can help it, like really I can, but I guess I don't want to. Um, then I get these, which me and my daughter love. We found these at Market Street and we're obsessed. The Hatch Green Chili Queso. So I got two of those. She's at work right now, but when she comes home, she has like a whole thing. She does queso and chips. She does fruit and a sandwich. It's like, a whole, I don't know why that variety, but there you go. Okay, let, where should I go next? Let's go back down here. I always get my lunch meat there as well, and I prefer the maple honey turkey. It's my favorite. The one thing I will say about getting them pre-sliced, so I didn't go to the deli. They they already pre-packaged pre this and put it out, um, just because I don't like waiting at the deli, but the thing about this is they cut the slices really thick. So that's why it's always good to go to the deli because you can tell them exactly like how thin or thick you want things sliced. But I was also just not in the mood to sit there. So I went ahead and got the pre-packaged, but they're packaged on the day. So they're nice and fresh. So I got two of those. And then I got Munster cheese. This has been one of my new favorite cheeses. It is so good. Um, it doesn't have like... Um, I don't know, I guess if you kind of have like sim a simpler taste bud situation, you you still would like this, I think. Uh, it doesn't have like an overly cheesy aged at all to it. It's just really good. And sometimes I do two slices because they're pretty thin. Sometimes I'll do two on my sandwich. Then I decided, I saw some apple tur turnovers, haven't bought these in a long time. So I decided to get one of those. I guess it's because I'm getting excited that fall's coming and apples and fall just go together for me. And because of that, I picked up a small thing of homemade vanilla because I'll bake this in the oven and then do a scoop of vanilla ice cream and it's everything. You could also do this with like Cool Whip, which would be good too. This is something that you guys have probably seen recently when you get into. It's the shrimp fried rice by Tasty Choice. It's really good. I love this stuff and it's easy and simple. I only get one again. I just really kind of do small, like not even quantities. This is something I love to do when I'm just tired. I don't have to think about it. You literally throw it into a pan and like that's, that's the effort. So I get those for that reason. This is summer bow tie pasta. This is one of my daughter's new favorite finds at Market Street. So I got her two things of that and she loves this stuff. I'm not a fan of like pasta salad or anything like that. I love traditional pasta and my, but my daughter loves like pasta salad stuff like this. She's even fallen in love with the Why can't olives, black olives? Uh, so yeah, her taste buds have been changing too, which is really interesting. It's, oh, and she told me that she read that taste buds change like every three years or something like that, which kind of explains why all of a sudden one year I started liking sushi. I was like, where did the hell did this come from? Um, okay, then back over here, I went in on some fruit. We really wanted fruit. Now I will say that it is more expensive to buy fruit pre-cut, pre-packaged. But the reason why I do this is because whenever I was buying like the standalone fruit, I was noticing we weren't eating it as much. And when we get these, we tear into these and they go quick. I don't know why it is. Um, I think it's honestly, I think it's just laziness because with the other stuff, you have to wash it, clean it, cut it. Um, and this is already done. So it's really, we're, we're lazy people in this house. So I got watermelon and they had a three for 12. Um, 
So I got two things of watermelon and pineapple, but these weren't included in that promotion. So I really, I don't know what this cost. I don't even want to look. Yeah, $10. So this one is a full berry, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberries. And then this one has a combination of strawberries and mangoes, which mangoes are my favorite, favorite fruit. Um, bananas too. And I think there's another one that was like, re oh, raspberries. Those are my top three. And I love nectarines too. Nectarines are so, so good. I think they're in season. I could be wrong. I don't really know that much about fruit to be honest, but they have this like bag of organic nectarines. So I got those. And then if you watch my vlogs, then this is not going to surprise you. I love the skirt steak. Um, you can see they label them for fajitas, but I actually use it to broil in the oven with my veggies and broccoli and um, one steak is two nights of dinner because my daughter doesn't like this. So I just do, I'll cut it in half and then into strips. And then one half is one night, the other half is another night. So I technically have four dinners right here alone for myself. And then I did get some meat while I was there. I got some chicken breast. Um, I've been really into that lemon chicken recipe ever since I I followed it. I actually posted a video of this, but I've been obsessed with that chicken recipe. So, uh, and it's really healthy, kind of, kind of ish healthy. And, uh, I've been into that. And then I got my chicken thighs. I haven't made my, my favorite chicken that my uncle makes. I think I've talked about it a lot on my vlogs because I think you guys have seen me make it a lot, but it's been a while since I've made it. So I don't even know, honestly, if I've made it since I moved into this house. But so I got some chicken thighs for that. And then over here, this is another new find that my daughter got um, a couple weeks ago. It is the turkey with brown sugar bacon sandwich. She loves this. So I got two things of that. And only because this is like one of those things where you probably want to eat it as soon as possible while it's fresh as possible. So that's why I don't, again, um, I guess stock, if you will, cause she will go through this in like two days, two days, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Oh, and then this right here, I had some rewards, I guess. And it was the, these little Mickey Mouse micro pops. They're like blind bags. So I got them for my niece. So I guess I got the six free ones and uh, I'll just give them to her and let her open those. But that's it. That's what I got from Market Street. Tomorrow I pick up my groceries from Walmart and then we'll go inside and shop inside Walmart as well. Uh, hopefully I remember. And uh, my main channel is a really big distraction. It kind of uh, takes my mind off of my vlogs. So that's why sometimes my vlogs are kind of all over the place, but um, that is on the list to do tomorrow.